What's going on guys? Welcome to the Geek World Tech once again. Today I'm just bringing you a quick update of the Apple event in October 2012. Special event. So we've got five product updates in this event. First off we have the 13 inch MacBook Pro with the Retina display. Uh, it features a 2560 by 1600 um, resolution, uh, resolution panel and in 13 inches which is essentially four times the amount of pixels in the last generation 13 inch MacBook Pro it has HT 4000 with no dedicated video options um, it's pretty much the same as the 15 inch ex except uh, in a smaller form factor so you don't have the optical bay it's really really thin and yeah and the base price is 16.99. and next up we have the Mac Mini uh, the Mac Mini is essentially the same. It's it just got a little spec bump. It's running on an Ivy Bridge right now. HD 4000, no dedicated video, USB 3.0, and that's pretty much it. Same form factor, same price, everything. Um, and it starts at 5.99. Now for the iMac, that's a totally different story because it's completely redesigned. It's so much thinner, so much better. Uh, I mean the screen, the 21.5 inch screen is still 1920 by 1080p. Uh, 27 inch is still 2560 by 1440, and I think we will be seeing Retina in these iMacs maybe next year or the year after that, but I'm not very sure for that. Um, essentially, this is the new iMacs are now five millimeters thin. Yeah, that's right, five millimeters. That's 80 percent thinner than the last generation, which is just mind blowing. Um anyways, the 21.5 inch starts from 12.99 and the 27 inch starts from 17.99. Um what you're getting is quad core i5 or i7 with dedicated graphics ranging from from that was my phone. Ranging from GT 640M to GTX 675MX, which is pretty cool stuff. Next up we have the iPad 4. Yes, we didn't even know about the iPad 4, and Apple doesn't have a page for that yet, but whatever. Essentially, it's the same as the third generation iPad, except with like a two times faster A6X chip, um, same 10 hour battery life, LTE, all that good stuff, and new lightning connector, and FaceTime HD, which essentially is 720p from the front facing camera. And then, of course, we have the show of the night. We have, or the morning, because it was announced in 10 a.m. But anyways, iPad mini, the 7.85 inch iPad. And as you can see, it's every inch an iPad. Basically, it's got the same A5 chip that you can find in the iPad 2, iPhone 4S, uh, iPod Touch 5th generation. And it has a 7.85 inch or 7.9 inch display with 10... 24 by 768 uh, resolution pixels. Blah, blah, blah. It has a dimension of 200 millimeters tall, 134.7 millimeters wide, and 7.2 millimeters thin. It has LTE support, 5 megapixel camera with 1080p recording on the back, and 1.2 megapi megapixel front camera with 720p HD video from the front. Uh, it has the new lightning connector and up to 10 hours of battery life with support for LTE, which I probably mentioned already. Um, of course, this starts at 329, so I think it's fairly cool. And uh, I just got a Skype for no apparent reason, but all right. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.